Ever since Microsoft announced that they acquired ZeniMax Studios, there's been a lot of speculation on whether or not these titles would remain exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem, or if they would remain multiplats, but with the specific benefit towards Xbox and PC users who have access to Game Pass, which is currently $10 a month. Now, I personally believe that they would remain exclusive, and my beliefs were solidified today based on the latest interview of Phil Spencer by Kotaku. While several interesting key topics were covered, this video will touch base on the ZeniMax acquisition and the future of those titles under the ZeniMax brand. ZeniMax was the parent company of several studios that were well known for creating the hit franchises of Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Doom, Wolfenstein, and more. The acquisition bolstered Microsoft's roster of internal studios as well as adding additional value to Game Pass, which is Microsoft's Netflix-style subscription service for games. Today, Steven Totillo of Kotaku asked Phil Spencer this, is it possible to recoup a $7.5 billion investment if you don't sell Elder Scrolls 6 on the PlayStation? In which Phil responded with a quick yes and then he continued to detail his meaning. This is what Phil had to say. I don't want to be flip about that. This deal was not done to take games away from another player base like that. We want more people to be able to play games, not fewer people to be able to play games. Now, Phil was very mindful in his answer to Totillo, making it clear that he was only directly responding to the question that was asked. And he stated, when I think about where people are going to be playing and the number of devices that we had, and we have xCloud and PC and Game Pass and our console base, I don't have to go ship those games on any other platform other than the platforms that we support in order to kind of make the deal work for us, whatever that means. Now, the reason why this remained to be a question is because in the past they stated that the platforms for the future of ZeniMax games will be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. In respect to that, we now have a better idea of where these titles may end up, and as it stands right now, it's more and more likely that the titles will remain exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem, PC and mobile included. Now, what do you guys think about this? What are your opinions on everything? If you're a fan of these franchises, will you end up purchasing an Xbox Series X or S in order to play them if it turns out they are only available on that platform? Or do you have a PC to play them on? Or are you going to wait and see what happens? Regardless, I link the article in the description box below, and please be sure to let me know in the comment section because I'm very interested in your responses. Alright, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!